there is nothing about the original Carrie film that I do not like, and it's very clear to see why this is an absolutely phenomenal film that will go down in history as one of the best horror films of all time. It's got a rating of 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb. That's across 168,000 reviews. And it's clear to see why this is the case. Obviously, this is the 1976 version. I haven't seen the remake. I don't know if I want to. Maybe I will eventually, but I just hold Carrie so dearly that I don't really want to have another interpretation in my head just yet. This film is directed by Brian De Palma with screenplay by Lawrence D. Cohen based, of course, on the novel by Stephen King. I haven't read the novel. I have a love-hate relationship with King in the sense that I love his stories. I don't like his writing style. I've yet to find a book of his that I like, but I will keep trying. But the film is brilliant. And just in case you're unaware of what the film is about, I'll read the description from IMDb, which does not have any spoilers. Carrie White, a shy, friendless teenage girl who is sheltered by her domineering religious mother, unleashes her telekinetic powers after being humiliated by her classmates at her senior prom. So Sissy Spacek plays Carrie, and I mean, it's one of the most phenomenal performances in a horror film ever. Carrie is very much protected by her, as the description said, domineering religious mother. Her mother is very religious. There are crucifixes everywhere. She punishes Carrie for being a girl. She punishes her for being a woman. We have that famous shower scene um, where Carrie starts menstruating and this is going to obviously cause a lot of problems when her mother realises that her daughter is becoming this woman and she's got a lot of problems with that. And obviously Carrie is basically being mentally abused at home and she's being bullied at school. And this culminates in her just losing it and all hell breaks loose. I have to say the best thing in this film is that scene. I, I won't say too much about it because I can't spoil it, but I'm pretty sure you'll be aware of it because it's a, a huge pop culture reference where she's at the prom and the blood is involved. And I just think that's one of the most exquisite scenes I've ever seen. What I like about this is that you know there's an impending threat. You know it's building up to carry unleashing all of this anger and hatred that she's had to suppress her entire life because of how she's been mentally abused. But you never quite know when it's going to be unleashed. And it's very, very, very suspenseful. There are a lot of characters in this that are easy to hate and you hope that Carrie unleashes her anger on them. And some of the outcomes are brilliant. And I'm just so oddly proud of Carrie as a character, which is weird because she... You know, some very disturbing things happen, but when you watch it, you root for the right people, I think. It's very easy to root for the right people, and visually, it's such a stunning film. It's very compelling to watch. The development of the narrative is amazing. The characters are either easy to love or easy to hate, as required. I feel like some characters were punished when I didn't think they should have been, but not to the extent where it made me kind of fall out of love with the film. I do think it's brilliant. And Carrie is just so wonderfully performed as a character. I absolutely love her. It didn't win an Oscar, but it was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role for Sissy Spacek and Best Actress in a Supporting Role for Piper Laurie, who did an absolutely amazing job. It was also nominated for the Golden Globes um, Supporting Actress, nominated for the Academy of Sci-Fi, Fancy and Horror Best Horror Films, it has, however, over the year won several awards and has had a couple of nominations. But in terms of accolades, it hasn't got that many. And even accolades that it could have accumulated over the years, it, it just hasn't. And I don't know why. And that's a shame. But it doesn't detract from the fact that this is an absolutely incredible film. It's not scary in the jump scare sense. Absolutely not. It's psychologically terrifying and you just never know what's around the corner and I absolutely love it and I think it's incredible. Apparently according to IMDb it had a budget of around $1,800,000 and has a cumulative worldwide gross of over $33 million so it's certainly done well for itself over the years. If you haven't seen it and you're a horror fan, absolutely must. If you haven't seen it and you're not the biggest fan of horror, I think if you gravitate towards psychological horrors and thrillers you may like this. Certainly, it's not as traumatising as a jump scare if you're new to horror. 
so I'd say it's a pretty safe one that could get you into horror. As I said, I haven't read the novel. If you think it's worth reading the novel, let me know and I might look out for it. Um, as I said, I'm still... I have yet to find a Stephen King book that I, you know, with which I like the writing style. But I will keep looking because I love his stories. Carrie is no exception and as a film, it's incredible. 